Hey, so I just wanted to show off a weapon that I think a lot of people, well, you know, like objectively a lot of people are sleeping on, and I'll tell you how I know that. Uh, but if you know anything about Rivens, you already know why. <laughs> well, I'm sure you can already guess why. So I'm just, I run decks, by the way. So I'll just stack up some decks arcanes. Look, so it does good single target. Look, that dude just melted to, to bleeds. Um, it also has really flexible builds, which is quite nice. Uh, yep, look, that's a really spicy bleed. Gets orange crits, you know, real nice. Uh, and you can see what happens if I run Vault. Just like everything dies. Uh, sh yeah, like electric shields. <laughs> Absolute monster buff. Um... So, let's see if we can actually hit a dude who'll survive. Got a headshot buffs. Yep. That's with no viral. That's with no bane either. Um, and I'll explain where you can... where you can fit the bane on the build. So... Because I primarily run this with um, Nature and Vault, because I've you know I've got my Incarnate weapons. Why would I go back to a to a curved weapon? But yeah, check this out. Riven Dispo four. So currently it's got a one point one five Riven Dispo, which is amazing on an AOE weapon. So people are really not using this one. Um, so you've got a also don't mind the cold progenitor. It should be toxin. Um, but I haven't really, you know, invested in this weapon significantly. Because I just wasn't using it for the longest time. But I've definitely come to have an appreciation for it. So this is like a nice hybrid build. I've picked things, aside from Vile Acceleration, that buff both firing modes. Uh, the reason I run Vile Acceleration is just so that I have a rapid fire weapon for popping nullifier bubbles if I'm up against the Corrupted. Uh, or, you know, Corpus. Uh, which is... Kind of, I need I need a bubble popper on the sets that I typically run. Uh, bladed rounds, I just run that with vault because you know the electric shield is a multiplicative boost, so that plus one twenty percent actually becomes plus two forty percent, which is quite nice. But you can just go ahead and whack a whack a um, a bane mod there. Yeah, so that's that's the Tetra. Please consider it. Um, for Rivens, I suppose I, I mean I don't really want to invest in Rivens for this weapon. I'll be real, but you know if you're super into Rivens, I'm sure you could do CCCD and compress these two mods down to one, and then put a bane in the in the slot that you saved. And of course, you know focused acceleration. You don't need to run it, but frankly, having one of one of the best projectile speeds for an AOE weapon makes it really easy to hit headshots uh, and proc the conditions on Argon scope and bladed rounds. So you can see how easy it is to get Argon scope. And then I've got bladed rounds. Yeah, obviously I don't have any of my stacks up, so that's why the damage dropped off a bit. But yeah, please please consider the Tenet Tetra. It's one of my favorite sort of all-rounder utility weapons, and I just really like the idea of a hybrid that you know has a has a rifle mode and has a grenade mode. Uh, one other consideration would be so you can see I deplete eighty ammo, and then oh well that's a full stock. But yeah, it only has forty pickups, so you need two primary pickups to get a full grenade back. However, if you run rifle ammo mutation oh rifle scavenger is your aura, every primary pickup is actually a full full grenade. And then some. Uh, so I would recommend running rifle scavenger if you're running the Tetra. Yeah, that's it.